Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to resize or change the size of your big commerce blog images. This is one of the things that I see people just be so super frustrated with, and they just kind of conclude, conclude that the blog feature on big commerce is terrible. It is a little bit limited compared to WordPress, but it's not terrible. And I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this one thing and it'll make your blogs just infinitely more usable. All right, I'm gonna share my screen and you can see like right out the gate, this is Cornerstone. It looks pretty bad with these images looking like, you know, postage stamps. <laughs> like what, what in the world? Okay, let me show you how to change those. We're gonna go into the back end of your store, click into um, storefront, and then you'll be on the themes tab when you get there and just click customize to customize your, your, your active theme. And this is so easy. Now, if you're on a different theme than Cornerstone, uh, this setting might be in a different place or it might not be there at all. Uh, it is present on Cornerstone, it is present on Roots. I don't know about other themes, but really you wanna be on Cornerstone. So I'll show you where it is for most people. Uh, when you come in here, you're in the page builder um, area by default. And there's also this layers tab, but then there's this theme styles tab that a lot of people don't see. And to change the, let me click into preview and go into articles real quick so we can see again how bad it looks. Then I'll go back into the design mode, make sure I'm clicked into here. Then I'm gonna choose the global selection and I'm gonna scroll down until I see bloggity blog, 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 size of images, optimized for theme. I think that's a big commerce joke. I'm pretty sure <laughs> that nobody thought that this 190 pixel or whatever it is width is actually optimized for a theme. So setting jokes aside, we're gonna choose the drop down to specify dimensions. And you can see it's in there as 190 by 250, which is egad too small. Let's go ahead and change this to whatever you're gonna actually load these in at. And be sure to just be consistent in whatever size you choose. I generally chose choose the optimal Facebook image size, which is uh, 1200 by 628. So it's roughly a two by one ratio. Uh, it looks like Facebook may be changing their ideal ratio to 630 instead of 628. So maybe that'll change. But for the purposes of this video, it doesn't really matter that much. What matters is you make this a different size than what it was. So 1200 by 628 and go ahead and click publish. Okay, and if you go to the front end and refresh it, then it should go ahead and apply. Did I not actually save it? Let me just double check this. I'm gonna refresh this, make sure I wasn't timed out when I did this. Oh yeah, some kind of error. Okay, let's try it again. Art thing, global, loggity blog, specify dimensions, 1200 by 628. Publish. Sometimes you gotta do it twice, that's okay. I'm gonna click preview, just go to the articles here in the previewer, and there you go. You can see that they are way bigger now, and just right out the gate, everything looks more like a blog. You know, there's still there's still work to be done. It can be a lot nicer, but it's definitely passable with just one setting change. All right, that's how you make the images bigger or different size than what's there by default. Thank you guys so much. And be sure to leave me a comment down below. And let me know what you guys are stuck on. That might be what I make my next video about. I'm here to help. Uh, reach out to us at Epic Design Labs if you need help and join our community up there at joinecommercegrowth.com. Thanks.